Well, hello, boys and girls. Are you ready for today's math lesson? Okay, remember, you're going to need your purple math workbook. Okay, and also have your clock ready as well, okay? Okay, go ahead and stand up, and you're going to join me in the coin poem. Let me switch my cameras. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, we're standing up. We're touching our knees. Ready? Begin. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I'm told. Great job, everyone. Go ahead and have a seat. Okay, class, I got my whiteboard here. I'm going to put out some coins. I want you to tell me what type of coin I'm placing on the whiteboard. What are those? Yes, those are pennies. And how much is a penny worth? One penny is worth one cent. Okay. What are these? Let me get a little bit closer. So these are quarters, and how much is a quarter uh, worth? A quarter is worth 25 cents. And then what are these? These are nickels, and how much is a nickel worth? Did you answer me in a complete sentence? A nickel is worth five cents. Okay, which coin do we need to start counting with first? We need to start counting with uh, the quarters first. Those are worth more, okay? They have a greater value, 25 cents each. And then which coin will we count next? We'll count the nickels, two nickels next. And how much is, are, is one of those nickels worth? One of the nickels is worth five cents. And then what will we count last? We will count the pennies last and we know that they're worth one cent. Are you ready? Ready? Begin, 25, 50. Let's do that again. 25, 50, 55, 60. Let's do that again. 25, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. How much money do you see? Did you answer in a complete sentence? I see 64 cents. How would we show that? We would show that amount by writing 64 and what? A cent sign. Class, remember, always answer me in a complete sentence. It is expected, okay? Okay, go ahead and get your uh, clock. Okay, yesterday we had this time on the clock, okay? What was this time again? The time on the clock showed 12.30, okay? Now I want you to set your clocks to a different time. Let me show you. Again, always moving the hands. Try to always get in the habit of moving the hands clockwise so you're used to the direction of the hands, okay? Okay, please set your clocks to show this time. What time is, oops, sorry. I said it like this. What time is the clock showing? Well, when I look at the clock, I see that the hour hand is pointing at the six and the minute hand is on the 12. So I know it's on the hour. So I know this clock is showing six o'clock. Now I want you to do this. Move your minute hand to where you see the one and keep your hour hand on the six, okay? The hour hand's really not gonna move much when the minute hand is only on um, um, past six o'clock by five minutes, okay? So anybody know what time this shows? Okay, let me help you out if you're not sure. Some of you may say, oh, it's this. I'm not gonna tell you yet, okay, I will. 
but I know my hour is still six o'clock. The hour is still at the six. In between the six and seven, you would still be, um, depending on the minute, and it, it, um, it would still be six for the hour. Okay, then what, would we, what do we write to separate the hour from the minutes? A colon. Now, how many p minutes past the hour did the hand move? Do you guys see the markings here? Each marking represents one minute, okay? Normally in a clock, you would not see this here. You would not see the numbers on the outside representing the minutes, okay? However, each hour represents five minutes, okay? That's why you see it, they're counting by fives. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, okay? So it's five minutes, one, two, three, four, five. So the time is not 6.5, but it's 6.05. You always need to have two digits, digits or numbers class, after the colon, okay? So it's 6.05, okay? So we'd write 6, a colon, and then 05 for this time. So what time is it? It's 6.05. Okay, class. Go ahead and open up your math, put your clocks to the side, open up your math book to, yesterday was what, lesson 26. So the next page is lesson 27 problem sets. So let me increase the size so we can actually read that. Lesson 27 problem set. Let's make sure you're on the right page. It shows this at the top. Always start by writing your first and last name. Remember, we practice good habits. So when we are back in class, your papers, um, I know who the paper belongs to when you turn it in and I can grade it and give you credit for it. No name, no credit. I don't know who it belongs to, okay? I'm not gonna remember. Okay, so. Are we using the number bond strategy to show our work? No. So let's cross out, uh, leave the word solve using, cross out the rest of that sentence. Um, it says you may draw quick tens and ones to help you. Mm -mm. You need to draw quick tens and ones to help you. Okay, need to sounds better than you will draw a quick tens and ones to help you, okay? Either way, that's what you need to do, okay? If you wanna get credit, I wanna see your work, okay? Okay, so 19 plus 12 equals what? Okay, what's your first number you're adding? 19, how many, what, how many tens is in 19? One ten. Let's draw one ten or long. And how many ones? Nine ones. Let's draw our nine ones. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, plus what? Plus 12. So how many tens is in 12? One ten. The one is in the tens place. And how many ones? Two ones. Okay, are you ready to count? Ready, begin. 10. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. What is the answer? 31. Remember class um, yesterday I shared, do not color code your tens and ones for your answer. I want to be able to read your answers. And from here on out, if I see it color coded, you will not, you'll have to make changes, okay? And resubmit photos so I can see your answers. Okay, I'll do one more with you. What's the next problem? 18 plus 12. So how many tens is in 18? One ten. Let's draw that. And how many ones? Eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, what are you adding to this? 12, so how do we show that? 110. And how many ones? Two ones. The two is in the ones place. Are you ready to count? 
Remember class, we always count the tens first and then we count the ones last. Ready, begin. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. What's the answer? 30. Okay, class. So for today, I want you to continue working on the front side. I need to see quick tens of ones drawings and your answers. Okay, clearly written. Let's make sure our numbers are written properly. And then on the back side, you're going to do the same. It's not you may, you need to. Draw quick tens and ones to help you solve. Okay, this is required on the, this is going to be required on the test. That's why we need to get good at it. Okay, now class send me um, clear pictures of both sides of this worksheet when you're all finished through your class dojo account.